just how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright, that's... sounds good to me. That would be like the last thing I would actually like to do on YouTube. Hit 200,000 subs. Okay, that would be pretty cool. But outside of that, um... I don't think that uh, I'm going to ever get above that. I really don't. I don't think I'm ever going to hit 200k. If it took a year and a half, think about this. It took a year and a half to get to 190k, I'm never going to hit 200k. You know? Maybe if people went over there with freaking bot accounts, <laughs> that would be about it. There's no way I'm getting legitimately I'm going to get that many uh, subs over there. It's just not going to happen. And I don't care either. That's what I mean. Like, I don't, I don't put effort into this shit. So. so I have now, for about a month, not been wearing headphones consistently at all. I'd say since the launch of Cyberpunk, that one week I was wearing them, and then I got the ear infection, I stopped wearing them. So, I've been wearing these Astros around my neck, and look at my hair now. All my hair finally grew back into the position it's supposed to be in. It took about a month of not really wearing headphones, but my hair went back to how it's supposed to be. Finally. It took for it took about a month, but it's finally back. Look, it's full and thick where it's supposed to be again. That's why people are like, oh, Phil, did you know you're going bald in the middle of your head? Uh, no, actually, it's just fucking headphones. It really is. It's so annoying. It's just so stupid. There's a spot. I have a spot in the back of my head right here where absolutely my hair is sitting. And that's been for years. That's been like, like that. Um, right here in the back of my head. I know that. But this is all. It's all great again. It actually regrew. <laughs> There's no freaking headphones on it. This guy is one million percent a pathological liar and a sociopath. Jerry Cherry says, when you say stuff like stupid fucking devs and insult devs when you get frustrated in any way in every game, is that not being toxic as well? Does it breed toxicity? It breeds toxicity to people who are stupid. People who don't understand that if you're in the middle of a very heated part of a game and something goes wrong, if you're in the middle of something and it really pisses you off, you're going to say something like that. But if you watch the entirety of the playthrough or you watch the final part of a playthrough where I weigh and balance all the positives and negatives that I've had during that playthrough and I tell you the truth of what I saw as a big picture, then you get the true feeling. Not in the heat of the moment. There may be a great part of a game. I'm like, wow, this game's absolutely fucking amazing. And then 25 minutes later, the game breaks down completely. I say, wow, this game fucking sucks. And both stand true for that moment that I'm saying it. That's not an absolute statement. Only dumb shits would think that. Seriously, if you think that because at one point someone in, says, man, the devs suck here or whatever, if that's 100% encompassing of the entire gameplay experience, you're just an ignorant idiot. That's not the fault of the person saying it. That's the fault of the idiot who just thinks everything's an absolute. You know, sorry that you're dumb. He's toxic. Every fucking day he's toxic. Every day he's here, he's toxic. Uh, and basically the stream was very toxic. There's Jasper going in front of the TV. What a shock. Jasper Kitty, Jasper Kitty, you cannot paw the television screen. Jasper, oh my god. Jasper, please get down. Are you going to get down, or do I have to get up? You're not going to be happy if I get up. That's it, I'm getting up. You're going to get it right now. Here it comes. I'm coming for you. He runs and jumps down. I knew it. <laughs> He's pawing the TV like this. And you can see the streaks of his, lot, his, his paws on the screen. Thank god he's declawed or he'd be tearing my screen up. What? What? Thank god he's declawed or he'd be tearing my screen up. Thank god he's declawed or he'd be tearing my screen up. Thank god he's declawed or he'd be tearing my screen up. This guy is the absolute bottom of the barrel. It, it, he is the worst lowest form of content creator should not be allowed on youtube should not be allowed on the fucking internet uh jerry cheers says when you used to make crude sexual jokes or racist jokes was that in character or the real you it's weird to be criticizing others for that how they chose to present themselves when you have that kind of history you're talking about shit i used to do five to ten years ago all right five to ten years ago it's not something i just did i don't do it anymore i haven't done it for years i grew up when I started on YouTube, I thought that's what people want. They want me to just be a stupid, immature asshole. This is what what's, you know what the people think is funny. So I did what the people thought was funny. I acted like an idiot, you know. And I've openly admitted over you know for the past many years that a lot of the things I used to do are today are very inappropriate. I would not do them anymore. Um, you know, you I, you can't say that, Jerry. Like I still do it to this day. I don't. I changed way different. I'm a way different guy now than I used to be. So I don't know why you think that like you act like that's something I'm still doing. It's not. 
they've been attacked. How is it hypocritical to criticize someone for doing something that they, that they don't do anymore? <laughs> it's not. You're stupid. Cat, you need to get out now. That place is toxic. Okay. Oh, let's see here. Spawn killer with another dollar. I've been to a fan since I was 16 or 17. Now I'm turning 30. It's very soon. It's crazy how YouTube has changed so much in the past. You couldn't say things today as you did when you started. No, you can't. I, that's the other thing, too. Like, people are like, oh, Phil changed. I wish he would go back to being who he was. If I would said the stuff I used to say, the constant sexual references I would make, right? The really, really... So, I, listen, do I feel that anything that I ever did was racist? No. I, for, I personally don't think so. I don't think anything I ever did was racist. But today, people just seem to be a lot more sensitive. And so, I feel like a lot of the stuff that I said in the past could basically be construed to be offensive, even though I never meant it that way. Um, I could never, ever do that kind of commentary on Twitch or YouTube anymore. Do I miss doing the old style of commentary? Let me put it this way. Every once in a while, to make an irreverent joke is funny. But I was really, 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 really forcing it. Because remember, back then, I wasn't talking with you guys. You guys were not giving me a live feed of information, questions, shoutouts, none of that. It was me trying to fill dead air constantly doing a gameplay through. So for me, it was like, the more I talk, the better. And since people seem to like the immature shit I'm doing, I might as well keep doing it, okay? Um, I'll be honest, after a while, I got tired of it. It actually became tiresome and or frustrating to have to constantly be coming up with something stupid to say at every moment. And people started complaining about me constantly talking over cutscenes and games and the like. And so there was this, this movement to really see me change and not do that kind of stuff anymore. And it took a while, keep in mind, it took quite a while for me to get used to it, but if you don't notice, now I rarely ever make a sexual comment in a game anymore. Um, I barely ever will say something racial in a game anymore. You know, I try to be way more open-minded and less offensive. That's just, just kind of who I've become over the years. Uh, are there times when maybe I'm like, man, I'd like to make a racial comment here or there? So, yeah, every once in a while. Yeah, let me be honest, of course. But, but, is it like, oh my god, I hate what I'm doing and I'm not having any fun now because I've changed? No, not at all. I enjoyed the fact that I changed. That because it used to be more annoying to have to fill that dead air with constant stupid, just immature commentary. You know, I didn't like having to do that, Jasper. Now, what did I say, buddy? Jasper Kitty, what did I say? I said you can't go up there. Now I'm getting up, and you're gonna be in trouble. Here we go. The big trouble for Kitty coming right now. Here it comes the big trouble for Kitty. Big trouble. For Please don't jump in front of the television. I don't want to have to get the spray bottle. Ugh. <laughs> Big trouble for Kitty. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> so anyway, um. Oh look at that! Look at that uh, beautiful moves. Oh my God! Took off like the Flash. Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah, of course. Every once in a while, let's be honest here. Every once in a while, I want to say something sexual or I want to say something that's racial. But then I, you know what? I'm not like that. I don't have to do that. You know, I don't. I don't have to do that that kind of stuff. Most people don't want it. All right, be honest. Most people don't want that kind of shit, and it's not needed. If you're gonna do an intelligent playthrough like what I do now, it's not needed. That stuff is it, it's it's it, again. We have we have enough to talk about. Oh my god, that's it, Jasper. That's it. You're in trouble now. You're out of here. Cause you went you went and you touched the TV again. I told you not to, and you did. That's it. Come here. <laughs> Stop doing that. I'm gonna give Jasper one more chance, but this time, I got the spray bottle. If he gets in front of that TV one more time, I'm spraying him and I'm throwing him out of the office and I'm closing the door. I don't want to, but, you know, he's literally standing in front of the TV on his legs going like this with his paws on my TV. You can break it. Can't do that, man. Ugh. I'm trying to be nice. Phil must have declawed that cat because he's not showing us proof to the, to the contrary. All right, I just received a $20 tip from Marita Lucina. Thank you, Marita Lucina, very much for that tip. It's the biggest tip of the night. Let me get that on the leaderboard. And with that tip, that takes us to halfway to the tip's goal, which means it's Gunner Glasses time, guys. So let me go ahead and do that. And yes, I can verify this is real. It's a verified tip. I received a $21 tip from Pretty Girls Make Graves. 
And that gets us up to, wow, $72 in tips. We're almost at the tips goal now, guys. We almost are at vest level. Okay, very nice. It's legit. I just received a $27 tip from Sunny Day Real Estate. And that means, ladies and gentlemen, we've hit the tips goal. Oh, I, I made a giant paycheck today because these people threw me money because they're dumb and ignorant. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Still has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. 